Yakinsi is a high-altitude long-endurance, hail, unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries, TAI. It is designed for a variety of missions, including intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISR, strike, and electronic warfare. The drone carrier Anadolu is a landing helicopter dock, LHD, type ship operated by the Turkish Navy. It is the first ship of its class and is designed to accommodate and operate a variety of unmanned aerial vehicles, including the Akinsi. Akinsi drone on drone carrier Anadolu. The use of the Akinsi drone on the drone carrier Anadolu gives the Turkish Navy a number of advantages. First, it allows the Navy to operate a large number of drones from a single platform. Second, it allows the Navy to operate drones at a greater distance from shore, extending the reach of its ISR and strike capabilities. Third, it allows the Navy to operate drones in more challenging environments, such as high seas and rough weather. The Akinsi drone is a powerful and versatile platform that can be used for a variety of missions. On the drone carrier Anadolu, it will be used primarily for ISR and strike missions. ISR missions. The Akinsi drone can be used to conduct ISR missions over a wide area. It is equipped with a variety of sensors, including electro-optical, EO, cameras, infrared, IR, cameras, and synthetic aperture radar, SAR. These sensors allow the Akinsi to collect high-resolution images and videos of targets on the ground and in the air. Strike Missions The Akinsi drone is also equipped with a variety of weapons, including air-to-surface missiles, bombs, and rockets. This allows it to carry out strike missions against a variety of targets, including enemy ground forces, armored vehicles, and air defense systems. The use of the Akinsi drone on the drone carrier Anadolu is a significant development for the Turkish Navy. It gives the Navy a new and powerful capability that will enhance its operational capabilities and deter its adversaries. The Akinsi drone and the drone carrier Anadolu are two of the most advanced unmanned aerial vehicles in the world. Their combination gives the Turkish Navy a significant advantage in the region. The Akinsi drone is a state-of-the-art unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, developed by the Turkish company Baykar. It is designed to perform various missions, such as intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, electronic warfare, signal intelligence, and strike, in support of fighter jets. The Akinsi drone has several features that make it a superior UCAV in its class, such as high payload capacity, long endurance, advanced sensors, and artificial intelligence. One of the main advantages of the Akinsi drone is its high payload capacity, which allows it to carry a variety of weapons and munitions. The Akinsi drone has a maximum takeoff weight of 5.5 tons, of which 1.35 tons is composed of a payload. The drone can carry up to 24 smart micro munitions, MAM, such as MAM-L, MAM-C, and MAM-T, which are developed by the Turkish company Roketsin. The drone can also carry air-to-air -air missiles, such as AIM-9 Sidewinder and R-73, and air-to-surface missiles, such as SOM and SOM-J, which are capable of hitting targets at long ranges. The Akinsi drone can also launch an air-launched cruise missile, which makes it the first UAV to do so. Another advantage of the Akinsi drone is its long endurance, which enables it to stay in the air for up to 24 hours. The drone is powered by two turboprop engines, which have two different types of thrust capabilities as 450 or 750 horsepower. The drone has a large wingspan of 20 meters, which ensures a high lift-to-drag ratio. The drone can fly at a maximum altitude of 40,000 feet and a maximum speed of 400 kilometers per hour. The drone can also operate at a range of 7,500 kilometers, which covers a large area of operation. A third advantage of the Akinsi drone is its advanced sensors, which provide it with situational awareness and target acquisition. The drone is equipped with an indigenously manufactured active electronically scanned array, ESA, radar, a SAR slash GMTI radar, a surveillance system, electronic warfare, and signal intelligence suite, and SATCOM. The ESA radar can detect and track multiple targets in the air and on the ground, while the SAR GMT radar can provide high resolution images of the terrain and moving targets. The surveillance system can provide real time video and data link to the ground control station, while the electronic warfare and signal intelligence suite can jam and intercept enemy communications and radars. 
The SATCOM can enable the drone to communicate with satellites and other platforms, such as fighter jets and AWACS. A fourth advantage of the Akensi drone is its artificial intelligence, which enhances its autonomy and decision-making. The drone has a fault-tolerant system architecture and a cross-redundant ground control station architecture, which increase its reliability and safety. The drone can also perform autonomous takeoff, landing, and navigation, as well as execute pre-programmed missions. The drone can also use its AI to analyze the data collected by its sensors and identify the best course of action. The drone can also cooperate with other drones and manned aircraft, forming a networked and integrated system. In conclusion, the Akinsey drone is a high-performance UCAV that can perform various missions in support of fighter jets. The drone has several features that make it a superior UCAV in its class, such as high payload capacity, long endurance, advanced sensors, and artificial intelligence. The drone has been successfully tested and delivered to the Turkish Armed Forces and has also been exported to other countries, such as Pakistan. The drone has also been used in real-world operations, such as the Pinskillet operations in northern Iraq, where it destroyed PKK positions. The Akinsi drone is a testament to the technological prowess and innovation of the Turkish defense industry. Thank you for watching. We hope you will subscribe for new topics and give suggestions for improvement.